this video talks about statistical distribution. Now, these are easy questions on USMLE that people often may miss because of lack of practice. It's because of lack of practice, it's not because it's hard. So let's get right into it so that we can get over this concept and not have to worry about it later. So what exactly is uh, the statistical distribution? Now, statistical distribution is based on our graph that we see the bell curve that we see, the Gaussian curve. And the Gaussian curve is determined by using mean, median, and mode. Now, when mean is equal to median, that is equal to mode, only then we get this perfectly symmetrical graph. When there is a change in mean and median and mode, we have positive or negative skew. Now, before we go to positive and negative skew, let's quickly talk about what exactly is mean, median, and mode. Now, mean is easy. That's the average. You take all, you add all the numbers that you have, and you divide it by the, by the number that the number equals to. So, in this case, you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, and then you divide it by 8, because there is 8 numbers here. So, that would be your mean, average. We know this. What about median? Sometimes some people tend to forget what median is. Median is the middle number. So for example, let's say you have this number. So what is the middle number here? Is this a set of even or odd number? This is a set of even number. So in this case, our middle numbers are 3 and 4. So we take 3 and 4, we, we um, add them together, and we divide it by 2. That would be your median, OK? So for example, let's say you had an odd set of numbers. So by that, I mean, let's say you have 1, 2, and 3. In that case, your median is going to be 2, and no addition is necessary, because that is the middle number. That's easy. That would be your median. What about mode? Mode is the most repetitive number that is in the set. So in this set, there is no mode, because there is no repetition. In this set, the mode is, is it 3, 3? and 555. Five, five. So in this case, the mode is 5 because that is the most repeated number. So that is mean, median, and mode. Now let's talk about positive and negative skew. When mean is greater than median and median is greater than mode, we have a positive skew. Positive skew is when the graph shifts to the right and to your right, not to my right. Okay. So when the, when the graph shifts to your right, that would be your positive skew. And um, for example, let's say you have three numbers, 5, 3, and 1. Let's say your mean is 5, median is 3, and mode is 1. So your mean is greater than median, median is greater than mode. That would be positive skew. And that, that is exactly the opposite for negative skew. That's when mean is less than median, median is less than mode. So let's say mean is 1, median is 3, and mode is 5. In this case, that would be a negative skew. So now you have a quick overview of the statistical distribution. Now let's see how it can come in a question that can give you a heart attack or you know I mean we know this we understand this and then we see a question and we get all panicky. So let's see a question. So question can typically come like this. So let's say there is hospital admission, hospital length of stay, same day surgery, outpatient physician visits number of prescriptions, and hospital, hospital administration is trying to figure out where their costs go. So let's say somehow they put these numbers here. So if they say in this question, so this is a full graph, and in order to answer a question, you might not need all the numbers that's in the graph. You might get scared just looking at the graph, thinking that, oh my god, I don't know what they're talking about. So that's not the case. You don't. You probably have to just deal with one or two numbers. So let's say in this case, the question says, what is the statistical distribution in this graph for the hospital length of stay? Okay, so let's see. So in this entire graph, they're only talking about hospital length of stay. You don't have to worry about same-day surgery, outpatient physician visit, number of prescriptions, or hospital admissions. Okay, so you don't have to worry about all that. The only thing that you have to worry about is hospital length of stay. So read the question carefully. So when we see the numbers, we see that the median is 1, mean is 1, median is 2, and the mode is 3. And the question is asking you, what is the statistical distribution? It's quite easy. Mean is the smallest, followed by the median, followed by the mode. That is going to be following this kind of pattern. So that would be a negative skew. 
you're not going to have numbers like this. You could have 5 here and 7 here and 12 here. Or you can have, you know, 7 here and 5 here. So depending on the number, you have to determine which skew it falls under. So in this particular case, when we had number for mean 1, median 2, and mode 3, it's going to be a negative skew because we know that mean is less than median and the greatest number is the mode. So in this case, the greatest is number 3, which is the mode.